একদম মানে জিনি ইয়ার একবার জিন ফরেস্ট জুম গলি অদ মানে একারি জুম গলিয়ে বহুত মানে দান ফা যেত পাচ্য বজর দি বজর হয়তো হে ডাক মানে হনও যে নয় ইয়ং গলি এবছর তারপর এবছর আরও একজন কোনো পারমানেন্ট দিয়ে নয় যে প্লান্টেশন নয় দরকার নেই মানে উর্বর লাগেলে অল এক করে মানে গিয়ে বার জিন কোনোদিন মানে গিয়ে নয় বহু একশত বছর ধরে মানে ইউরি আগে উর্বর হয়ে জুম গলি আপনি বাদি The formal annexation came in 1860, where the Chittagong Hill Tracks was given the status of a separate district. The idea that a number of the hills between the Chittagong Coast on the west and the Irrawaddy Valley, which is now central Burma, but that was a particular had a particular name didn't exist these hills just continued and various peoples lived there it was only when the british moved in and conquered a little bit of these hills they had to give it a name and they called it the chitagong hill tracks for the first time a non jumma a non indigenous official was ever posted in the chitagong hill tracks So the Chittagong Hill Tracts as a, as a unit is just a, a colonial administrative invention. Vartomane Jeparbato Chattogram, Bangladesh Air Angsho. এটা তো হচ্ছে সাউথ এশিয়া এবং সাউথ ইস্ট এশিয়ার মধ্যে একটা ব্রিজের মতো একটা সেতু বন্ধন মেল বন্ধন এখানে যে মানুষেরা বসবাস করেন তারা চেহারায় তাদের ভাষায় তাদের কৃষ্টিতে সংস্কৃতিতে সব কিছুতে তারা একদম আলাদা যেখানে আপনি পছন্দ হয় সেই জায়গাতে আপনি পছন্দ থাকে তবে এখানে আমি চম অবশ্য করবেন তবে চম করলে হয় না এটা তো আমাদের ইচ্ছা আমাদের ইচ্ছা মানে কি কারণ তো আমার এই জমে আমি এক বছর চম করবেন তাহলে মাটি নিয়া এরাই কম মাত হবে মাথাতে ওই মাটি তারপরে কি স্বপ্ন কি দেখে স্বপ্ন যদি খারাপ দেখে এই সমতা আমার দরকার না আমার করবে না স্বপ্ন যদি তাহলে ভালো যদি পায় ওই তেল বিক্রি করে পাবেন মরিক বিক্রি করে পাবেন আদা হলুদ বিক্রি করে পাবেন আর ডান পাবেন পেঁপে কুন্সিকুলা বা মানমা আর তারপরে বিভিন্ন শাক সবজি এটা পাইবেন এটা হলো সব স্বপ্ন দেখবে তো স্বপ্নকে কি আকুন দেখে তারপরে ওই চকরি চকরা সব দেখে তারপরে এটা হলো এই সময় আমি না মিট হবে না এটা তো আমার চুম করে দরকার নাই ট্রেডিশনালি দে সুইডেন কালটিভেটার্স উইচ মিনস স্ল্যাশ অ্যান্ড বার্ন কালটিভেশন উইচ অবভিয়াসলি ডিপেন্ডস অন ল্যান্ড বাট ল্যান্ড উইথ ফরেস্ট The idea that underlies hill agriculture is rights in land, but 
not the sort of rights that you know you have in a sort of a Western system or even the the Mughal land system that existed before the British came in the plains. Kada mela zaga, jian mane abad gora jian mane nijor. Ezo se dero no jeruji dekan potha koto jeruji uiti joy sakma unor jian mane abad gora jian thar se dero no. Chakate bakoren doren ta phore ekta hermen mungsa hermen. Mungsa hermen ke chono kon ke ekta chakal lagbe ta phore amar ke chana dibe. Karbar yehing shab ke. To amade ekta chakal niven khoy kor, otoba noile pasi kor, otoba noile tine kor. Na ki tiyuti shrani, na ki proto shrani, na ki tiyuti shrani. Er kunta niye hoy jara chakal nibe une alusna koren. शौक जो शौक किरण दिए ताकि हेड में के जावे ताकि उन्हें जगह ये जगह में पसंद हो वो जगह तो उन्हें के दिया होगे जे जोमिते तारा जुम चाश करे जे जोमिते तारा शिकार करे जे जोमिते तारा छोटे छोटे बच्चों दूरे निश्चिंत वशवश करे आश्चर्य शिक्षणे तो तादेव कोनो दोलिल नहीं तादेव उपरे तादेव जे ट्रेडिशनल राइट्स, शेटा तरह बुक करें ऐसे ही, सब समय। इफ यू रीड द एर्लीएस्ट इनफॉरमेशन ऑन वेर यू गेट पीपल फ्रॉम द हिल ट्रैक्स एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर लाइफ, इट्स वेरी क्लियर दैट दे दे टॉक अबाउट दिस इज़ आर विलेज we have a right to divide this land among us. We can say, okay, you go plant that hill and you go plant that hill. Others don't have that right to come in. Uh, so there is a sense of this belongs to us, not necessarily to me as a person, but to us as a group. So that idea has always been there. Adivashira, Tadir, Je Bhumishate, Jangole Shate, Je Shamporko, Shetache, Tadir, Antore Shamporko. एकाने कागज पत्र एक ना शंपूर कुनी The first was a British gentleman called Captain Mac Grath So he was the first superintendent of the hill tracks but he supervised he didn't administer the administration was still in the hands of the rajas the wands and so forth Occupation of the Chittagong Hill Tracts created a number of problems for administration. The British had to decide whether they wanted to control the tracts directly by putting a lot of British administrators in, or do it indirectly by having local people control the population for them. Of course, their interest was to get the highest possible revenue and to do it with the least possible cost. And what is the cheapest way to administer a region? Have their own people rule them. So what they did is they chose three chiefs who sat on the major rivers of the Chittagong Hill Tract and made them into the three Rajas of the Chittagong Hill Tract. The Mong Raja in the north, the Chakma Raja in the middle, and the Bomong Raja in the south. Another way in which they changed the system is they took over large tracts of land uh, and took them under direct control uh, of the forest department. So they, re they tried to remove the people living there in order to exploit the forest reserves directly. The British imported teak saplings from then Burma and converted large tracts of heterogeneous forest, biodiverse forest, into mono plantations of teak. Bhalo cash pa jai bai kathir mullo ase, kath bikkho hishabe shegunir khu mullo ase, kintu puri vishet junne eta moto bhalo na, ebong ehi sheguno bairer manushka anek ta akrishto kare, jyo ghani shegun chash kara jai. These were theoretically off-limits to people, 
But of course, not even, even the writ of the British government, or any government for that fact, doesn't really enter into every nook and corner of a forest area. It was noted by the colonial administrators that another problem was coming up, and that was that uh, traders from the plains were moving into the hills in larger numbers than they had before. There had always been people from the plains in the hills, but very small numbers. Now they were increasing, and the British were worried about the locals getting indebted to these traders. And that, they thought, was not a good prospect, again, for colonial uh, taxation and so on. So they tried to prohibit Plains people moving into the hills um, and uh, sort of acting as a middle layer between the colonials and the locals. That's why the uh, Chittagong Hill Tracks Regulation of 1900 was devised, to separate the hills from the plains and to set up this other system that they found more useful. Now, for the British, the Chittagong Hill Tracks Regulation meant that you did not apply all those complex land laws, tax laws, court procedure laws to this region. The CHT regulation of 1900 was used by the British colonial administration to give absolute power over land to the central state bureaucracy. And this was manifested in the office of the deputy commissioner, the DC. Now, there were the local uh, office holders for land management as well. So the, the, the three circle chiefs and then the headmen, the village headmen under them, and under the headmen, the Karbadis. But ultimately, even the chiefs, uh, they, their power was under, was, was subordinate to that of the deputy commissioner. But then this is also the regulation which recognizes partially the customary rights of the hill peoples. It doesn't actually tell you indigenous peoples have the right to Sweden or shifting cultivation, but it indirectly acknowledges the continuance of a practice and a right. This became the first time that the people in the hills started thinking about themselves as a separate group, rather than as people who happen to live in this particular hill area or that particular hill area or people speaking this language or that language or having this religion or that religion. Because they were now under one regulation and separated from the plains, they started thinking about themselves as being part of one social unit for the first time. That developed very slowly, but it became very important. And also on the other side, the plains people started to think of them more and more as being outside of their world. British India fell apart in 47. The British found it more and more difficult to control the colony and finally decided to give it up. But it was not so clear who they could hand power over to. In other colonies, this was usually quite clear. You had a, a, an anti-colonial nationalist movement that threw up leadership and these leaders would then get uh, to be the new presidents or whatever they would be of the, of the independent states. In India this didn't work out. You had uh, competing groups and uh, the end game of colonial rule in the, the second half of the 1940s was extremely complicated but it turned out that um, the decision was made to partition the colony, to cut it in pieces. The parts where Muslims were in a majority separated from all the other parts. Everyone assumed that the uh, hill tracks would be awarded to India. So the question of Pakistan did not enter anybody's head at all. But in any case, you see, it was not so much a question of whether they felt that uh, uh, India 
would necessarily be a better place than Pakistan. But the question was that Pakistan was created on the whole idea that it was a, a nation, nationhood for Muslim people. So the whole idea of a state in which a certain denomination would get a privileged provision. So I suppose uh, there were serious concerns how the non-Muslim indigenous peoples would feel in a, uh, a state uh, which had the, uh, the, the notion of nationhood for a certain religion. At one point, the British decided when the colony was going to be decolonized middle of August 1947. Six weeks before that, they installed boundary commissions, one for the Punjab in the west, one from Bengal and Assam in the east. The commission consisted of two members from the Indian National Congress, two members from the All India Muslim League, and the chairman from Britain. These commissions were given the task to divide these, these uh, provinces. Now, six weeks to do a job like that is an impossible task. In the end, the commission for Bengal and Assam couldn't decide how to cut things up, so they said, OK, the chair has to make the final decisions. And this he did. So when independence occurred, most people in the Chittagong Hill tracks thought they had become Indians. Very interestingly, the decisions of the Bengal Boundary Commission were not made public at the time of uh, independence, but a few days later. So for a few days, there was total confusion. People in the Chittagong Hill tract, they thought they were in India and they were very happy that the British had gone, so they were celebrating. And what do you do when you celebrate? You show the, uh, the, um, the symbols of the new state to which you belong, independent state. Radcliffe wanted the hill tracks to Pakistan and I think the, around the 17th the Pakistan army came and brought down the Indian flag and put up the Pakistani flag. Ever since there has been enormous controversy about the decision. Very interestingly, Sir Radcliffe never talked about the reasons that informed his decision. The Muslim population of the Chittagong Hill Tracks in 47 was, I think, something like 2 or 4 percent. So there is no reason on the basis of Muslim majority um, decision making to put it with Pakistan. So people have been asking why. Now if you look at what the commission was told to do, it was told to separate mu Muslim majority areas from non-Muslim majority areas and to take into account other factors. Now, the other factors were not defined, so people have been sort of guessing what they might have been. It was also a time, if we talk about the Chittagong Hill tracks, that had far-reaching effects because the Pakistan state then Taking in the Chittagong Hill Tracts used this little moment of confusion to show that the people of the Chittagong Hill Tracts were traitors to Pakistan. They uh, wanted to be Indians and so on. And this has continued as a sort of a discourse about the Chittagong Hill Tracts ever since. <laughs> I'm 
ਸੇਸਾਇ ਚੁੰਦ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿੰਦੂ ਵਿੱਚ ਨੋਰੋ ਇਹ ਜੇ ਦੂਈ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੋਜਨੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨੋਰੋ ਦੋ ਹੈ ਤੋਰ ਉਹ ਦਿਨ ਦਾ ਸੁਣੋ ਨਾ ਜਾਈ ਦੋ ਦੇਖਾ ਨਾ ਜਾਈ ਇਹ ਵਾਕ ਬੰਦਾ ਬੋਲੀ ਗੋਤਾ ਦੀ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਜੀ ਰਾਇ ਫਾਰੀ ਹੋ ਉਨਸਾ ਅਥਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਸਕਾ ਇਹ ਕਲਾਸਿਕ ਸਭ ਪੂਰੀ ਨੇ ਹੋਰੀ ਸਕਾ ਤੋਂ ਖਾਤੇ ਗੁਦਾ ਬਾਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਨਸਾ ਇਹ ਉਨ ਸਾਈ ਦੀ ਗਰੇ ਜਿੱਤਾ ਖਾਤੇ ਗੁਦਾ ਫਾਸਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਫੋਲਾ ਬਾਨੀ ਤਾਂ ਬਾਨੀ ਨੇ ਬਾਨੀ ਆਵਾਰ ਫਾਨੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਮੀ ਇਹ ਅਥਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਉਨ ਇਹ ਉਨ ਸਾਈ ਦੇ ਬਾਨੀ ਨੇ ਬਾਨੀ ਫਾਨੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਮੀ ਜੀ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਈ ਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਫੁਰੋ ਬਾਨੀ ਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਨ ਸਾਈ ਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਇਦੋਂ ਮਾਨੇ ਜੋ ਇੱਛੂ ਸਕਾ ਫੋਰਮ ਫਿਰੇ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਅਮੀ ਲਾਸਤੇ ਇਹ ਬਾਸੇ ਤੋਂ ਗਰੇ ਦੀ ਚੀਜ਼ because of the cross dam across the kornopuli river a huge reservoir was created which is known as the kaptai lake and this submerged a huge area of the chirigong hill tracks pray do i mere mane ye area mein the tura ban gramane lo yan bi bor samarson kaptai de mora indi o beta ye balo be kunor ਬਦਰੋਰ ਪਰਾਈ ਹੋਰਾਗੀ ਤੋ ਜੇ ਲੋ ਨੇ ਸਾਇੰ ਸੰਪੂਰਨ ਨਾ ਹੋਲੇ ਪਾਰੇ ਆਲ ਦ ਫਰਟਾਈਲ ਪੈਡੀ ਲੈਂਡਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਰਿਵਰ ਬੈਲੀਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਕੋਰਨੋਪੋਲੀ ਰਿਵਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਟ੍ਰਿਬਿਊਟਰੀਜ਼ ਵੇਰ ਸਬਮਰਜਡ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਦ ਬੈਸਟ ਪੈਡੀ ਲੈਂਡਸ ਵੇਰ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਲੋਸਟ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਡਿਸਟਰੋਇਡ ਸੋ ਟੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਮੇਜਰ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਟੂ ਦ land system in the hill tracks with the kaptai dam about 100000 indigenous peoples were evicted from their lands baba don no is ta itra saka e abin hanungo bek e mo mo chalabo adot ta hoje tu phoro man kire tu jo phoro ma de hote na ਤੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਨੇ ਫਰਮਾਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਇਹ ਫਰਮਾਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਦੁਬੂਈ ਬੰਗਾਈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਨੇ ਨੇ ਆ ਗਈ ਤੀਆ ਯੂ ਦੈਨ ਬਿਗਿਨ ਟੂ ਫੀਲ ਦ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਇਫੈਕਟਸ ਆਫ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਡੈਮ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਗੋ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਫੋਰੈਸਟਸ ਸਟਿਲ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਸਰਵਾਈਵ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਕਟਿੰਗ ਡਾਊਨ ਦ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਫੋਰੈਸਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਕਲਟੀਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਆਇਦਰ sweden cultivation or wet rice cultivation whichever way they do it it means that pressure is now put on the forest lands which was not the case before this we're talking about about half of 100000 people about 50000 people needing to find alternative lands to survive in in the in the forest for many of them it was very hard to find a place to live and quite a large number of them left pakistan and went to india hoping to find a place there where well, until now most of them have not been given citizenship rights and their right to live in as residents of the state is challenged by the indigenous people of that state So there's a lot of memory there for people who 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 lived there grew up actually my my uncle my father's brother who died recently uh, wrote a song but oi dagonni singe duar jo takere je bazar se phuge di gango song with de alam adam he was my village uh, to the east of the reserve bazar where my village was before the dam so, so that's one thing and that's a lesson to a lot of people let's think now uh, how much electricity is being produced but what did it do to the people what does it do to the environment and so forth that's something we should bear in mind
Feelings ran high in Dhaka, the capital of East Pakistan. It is a city of about half a million people, Bengalis, very different in language, outlook and culture from the West Pakistanis. The two regions are more than a thousand miles apart on the opposite sides of India. They were linked together in a makeshift arrangement 24 years ago at the time of the breakup of the British Empire in India. They had little in common but the Muslim faith and the fear of domination by Hindu India. And they have been somewhat uneasy bedfellows as a single state of Pakistan ever since. movement for more rights in East Pakistan took the form of a language movement. This is what mobilized people, the fact that the Bengali language was not given the weight in the state of Pakistan that it should have, because the majority of people in Pakistan, East and West, were Bengali speaking, but the state language was not Bengali, but Urdu. So the movement for East Pakistani uh, uh, autonomy and later independence was uh, a movement for Bengali uh, autonomy and independence, which made the people in the Chittagong Hill Tracts very marginal because they are not Bengali speaking, um, they, they are also not Urdu speaking. In this big game, they were onlookers. In the So when 71 war happened, many people in the Chitama Hill Tracts were not sure what would be the best outcome for them. They had not been treated very well during the Pakistan period, but could they expect to be treated better during an, so in an independent Bengali nation, Bengali state? When the representatives of the Chittagong Hill Tract in the new Bangladesh parliament started making claims for their area, they did not get much support from the large, the huge Bengali majority of other members. The fact that after what happened in 47, when the people in the Chittagong Hill Tracks didn't get what they were expecting, and again in 71 when they didn't get, or 72 or 73 when they didn't get what they expected, again the sort of uh, disillusionment and the fact that they felt in this new state we're not going to be treated as equals and um, we have to fight for our rights. You could have thought of a situation where once armed struggle starts, the government then says, OK, let's go back to the, uh, to the table and negotiate. This didn't happen. So the conflict escalated. The area became highly militarized. And it became sort of a situation where the two parties were locked in a system where they couldn't get out of. So the, the fighting went on and on and on for uh, more than two decades. But they also find that they cannot win the war in a military way. So then they decide that they will try another strategy. And this strategy is the, is the strategy of demographic engineering. And what they do is to bring in about three to 400,000 Bengali settlers from outside. That is more or less the same number of people as the indigenous peoples in the Chittagong Hill Tracks. Eh, she nala da she is English. Ta idu da amata gan hazani boichun bangal. Ta bangalun boinia. Ta so kado eh dore dore thei. Ta undi nala do zamdo indi nala do zamdo eh mota jaga harilon. Ek kara mota mona gor ayen mo buyen. Guru lo also thei to kori biri no baran thei to kori kola gai lagan buye buye barat. Hey, need to go to the dance school. Need to dance. For some reason, school needs to dance. Then nobody. If you move to yoga, be sure all of you hang out. All of them are young. They 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 are young. They
Bangalun tera itu, ki gocho garam gore lawa inti go. Ki kham gobe dilem na ki onsi gul bojiye ki diye. Tasi gul bojiye niye ka shot sena gocho garam gore tayiye goi. E shot tun hamla garon. Tasi shot tun arah shot tun e shot tun atta army army azon. Tar parah se bedilia azon. Tar arah itu kuri azon. Tar mana cunet dora jete nuaron. Ede 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 udah bicara lah hakon garat teri itu dalam garat tundai. Wu fasa video ni jual lubeh jenu barik aja aja itu bai bai je kaku aga. Tapi wui jaga zaman kaku aga, tapi guru guru sahul tu ikut han. Esok ni tu dulu tu sura januari, direct januari. Tapi ni ni baik doy. So jaga sarta baik doy belang. So what you have is a situation of hundreds of thousands of Bengalis coming into the hill tracts. People who often didn't know what they were landing up in. They were people. Poor people from other parts of the country who were not aware often of what was going on in the hill track, but were very interested in the land that they thought they would get. They ended up in a war situation. They got protection from the army to stick to their land. It, it created a new dynamic in what was already a war. <laughs> Setelahan ini, ni amat jaga ni luru le buat dia sorangan dia. Amat elu le larai. Tapi thala thala itu ni orang. Ami yo baru dapat sorangan tu je. Tapi si dulu orang gua itu dapat sorangan. Tapi si bini ni bani long lama. Ule kan korot nol tu patik puri ber. Matra jangan biar dia hodok sedengsi. Eh itu kiri 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 dia. Apa dia dia jenis dia hobi nol. Daily huru huru foto jam. Nitu hana dega mora, dega mora, mora. Sugu tu jono aja na. Ese awat cari je dia. Mufon ni jono ngai tinu. Teh tar korat dalam aku, teh dah dega aku. Tinu ni jono ngai gua mobile ni, dia mau bu. Teh si gun doh muda dah. Ushut cene teh teh hakai pinon budi korai, hakai sol budi korai. Mui jono ngai hakai muri be, hakai muri be tu jugu le teh. Eng kotak kotak mui ini, si gun doh muri jono. Teh sana ubun adu ini kotak donat dalam megoi dia. Saya dona bot tadah kata pol dia kau dia, tu panai pola kau gaduh je kau. Eh jodoh tadah bot tadah kata pol dia jadi, eh jodoh tena bangal luru luru kerja ni jodoh tadah lati je kau. Muka orang bapu dia boleh tahu, eh jiba biji tu latum bolu ji, eh jiba pada tadah lah. Tapi saya urut di sini mahar tadah lah. Bangal lah, hobo urut hobo cundi, mana ekjo na mula supaya urut eh jiba, eh jiba jah ekup dia dah. Mam makung, mam mager ni, ajar guru mam mager ni, mam noda, tak joka bermat thalu noda, tak edik kuri patung, tengah ia atanai, eh atanat joka patung, eh dia dah thakol anda, eh aku, aku, aku butuh mati hum noda, ada apa dia? Government of Bangladesh came into being in seventy one and was seen worldwide as a victim of state violence as a a government that needed a lot of support from all over the world to help overcome uh, decades of exploitation and then a devastating war. The Chittagong Hill Tracts War, you can call it that, from 19, say from 1975 basically to 1997, really damaged that image of Bangladesh in the world. Because as information came out that there were massacres going on in, in the Chittagong Hill Tracks, that the Bangladesh army was targeting civilians, um, bringing them together in what they called cluster villages and so on. Uh, the idea that Bangladesh was a democratic state, where uh, a people's republic, where um, the ills of the past were not going to re be repeated, was tarnished. And in a very short period, between 1979 and 1991, roughly 10-12 years, the demographic composition is drastically changed. Before 1979, uh, the composition of outsiders was about 10% uh, or less. But by 1991, the Bengali out settlers who were brought in begin to uh, account for about half of the population of the hill tracks. Um, and most, most disturbingly, what is also done by the government, by the 
military and the civil service is that they redistribute the lands of the indigenous peoples to the Bengali settlers. Now, they cannot actually do this legally because that land is either private property or it is common property. But in both cases, these are recognized by laws dating back to the British colonial period. So in effect, what happens is that the government breaks the very property rights that it is supposed to defend. And this is the core of the conflict in the hill tracts. Because without the land, the indigenous peoples find that their survival is threatened. During the period of counterinsurgency, in addition to the settlers, lands of the hill peoples is also grabbed by other agencies. The biggest land grabber in the Chittagong hill tracks is the forest department. After the forest department, the security forces are the biggest land grabbers for their cantonments, their military installations. And surprisingly, it's not just the infantry or the army, even the Air Force feels that it needs to take over land for its training purposes. The artillery uh, groups, the other branches of the army that you don't really think would be able to use or, or um, you know, would, would not be appropriate for the hill tracks, have got huge amounts of lands, hundreds of thousands of uh, acres of lands um, under various, uh, you know, various invented needs. I don't the idea was to untie a very complicated knot that had come up in, in the 70s, 80s and 90s. There was a lot of international pressure on the Bangladesh government. They were actually pushed to the negotiation table. After long deliberations, the, the treaty was signed by both sides. Officially, <laughs> 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 The state had a major role in breaking laws and grabbing land and you know bringing in settlers to to whom they gave the lands of the Paharis. This is what happened up to the 1990s, primarily. But after the accord, the 1997 accord, what you 
C is the, the, the direct interventions of the state, except the forest department stops. But in, instead of the state agencies, it's now the private sector agency. And some of these private sector agencies include corporations, big, important, well-known corporations in Bangladesh, which have been involved in grabbing land with force, bringing in armed gangs, buying up the titles. But as I said, in many cases, they don't even use title documents. They just use force and their connections to keep the police and the administration away. ไอ้เรมุรัดคาเรเยคาเรเยตราคาชาละกายเยตราริกุรีเยดินดินดินดินดินไอ้เยคุมปานีมานูเรียรอปากาชาอิทมอนซิออลเลยเยไอ้ข
क्षमत छो आवी लीग सरकार जरा चुक्ति आवी लीगर पर तो विएनपी सरकार क्षमता आसल ता तो चुक्ति के बिल करते चेल वा तो चुक्त समय चुक्ति बिरोधिता करो दुई बस तत्व सरकार तो तरह समय तो चुक्ति वास्तवयन है ना आर दुहजार नय साले ये ता क्षमत आसल एवं अंगीकार कर लो चुक्ति वास्तवयन कर शांति चुक्त फले संघर्ष चलती जे बड़ोधरण भीति सब समय मानुषर मध्य क्च कर कमे से जिनटा हम तो नाई कंतु पार्वत्य चट्टग्रामे एखो तीन शोर अधिक टेम्पोरारि सेंा बाहन कैम्प आ मिलिटर कैम्प आता तो मानुषर जो एन एक बड़ थ्रेट सेंा बाहन कैम्प थका मान हे जो सेंा बाहन हम आगे मत शांति बाहन दमन करार नाम जख तक ग्रामे गए हमला करा कंतु सेंा बाहन इज इक्ुअलि इनवल्व सबकि मध्य सेंा बाहन एक रोल आ एवं शांति चुक्त पर जे जिन से जे भूमि बिोध निष्पत्ति नहीं सिन्स नाइनटीन नाइनटी सेवेन फर नियरलि वन डेकेड द लैंड कमिशन वज नट इवेन एक्टिवेटेड इट सामटाइम्स हैड ए चेयरमैन बाट इट हैड नो स्टाफ नो मानी नो पावर टू डू एनी थिंग एंड द गवर्नमेंट केप्ट इट इन दिस स्टेट अलमोस्ट डेलिबरेटली वन मस्ट से सो इन्स्टेड ऑफ द लैंड कमिशन बींग ए फैक्टर a force which redresses wrongs which um, resolves illegal occupation and and gives the land back to the original paharis who owned it instead of that happening the activities of the land commission have been concerned with other things which will strengthen the rights of bengalis occupying those lands anchorik purishad ke shaktishali kara बला जाए आंचलिक परिषद आसले क्षमत ही प्रतिष्ठान अर्थात सब सब चे शक्तिशाली प्रतिष्ठान हार कथा आंचलिक परिषद द पावर टू डिसाइड ऑन लैंड एंड लैंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वज सपोज टू बीन ट्रांसफार फ्रम द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टू द लोकल गवर्नमेंट इन्स्टिट्यूशन क्रिएटेड बै द पीस ट्रीटी दिज वे दिल डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउन्सिल्स इट इज नाउ नियरलि फोर्टीन इयर्स सेंस द पीस ट्रीटी वज साइंड that power has not been transferred to the hill district council and therefore the institutions of local self government of the indigenous peoples do not have any authority over land transactions 2010 sale eshe ekta sujog toiri holo je apnar sanvidhan sanshodhaner podokhe grohon korlo tar ekta committee kore dilo amra asha korechilam je सरकार मोटामुटी एबार आदिवासी सांविधानिक स्वीकृति दीबे क्योंकि तो हमें परवर्ती समय जानल सरकार आदिवासी स्वीकृति दीचे क्योंकि से आदिवासी हिसाब ना There is no objective kind of definition on indigenous. When the indigenous peoples finally uh, got this international platform in the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, there was of course a long debate on on the term indigenous. What should one call it? You can't define it on objective sociological, cultural, other criteria. If you just take uh, take an issue, could you say uh, that a group has a specific language? And there's a lot of, of of groups who feel that they are still a cultural, ethnic group who don't have their own language anymore. Can we then use culture? I mean, culture is uh, the way we think about things, the way we do things, our values, our artistic ex- expression, our knowledge. Now, you can't uh, use that often because. you share may share a lot with your neighbors or you may again have lost a lot of, of your traditional way of doing things so you can't use the traditional way of life or you cannot use religion so all this to say that there's no kind of objective criteria and that's why the un 
very, very wisely said, this is a question of self-definition. The people who say, we are a group, an indigenous group. We feel like a group, we have a common history, uh, we have had a language, we have had culture, this is how we feel. And we want to be represented because we are marginalized and discriminated against in the state where we live. And the UN says, welcome into the family. <laughs> There's a whole discussion at the state level all over the world whether terms like indigenous people can be used. Especially Asian societies, Asian states have had a have big trouble with that because they say we're all indigenous. What is more indigenous about, say, Marmas than, it, than uh, Bengalis? And in fact, discussions in Bangladesh, it's often turned around. People say, we Bengalis were here first, the Chakmas are latecomers. All these people who are tribals came into our, our hills later. There's absolutely no evidence to, for that, and in fact the, the earliest evidence we've so far found on you know, people living in the hill tracks is actually Chakma um, in, the, in the 16th century. Now in Bengali it's Adivashi, and in English it's indigenous. And why have the indigenous peoples asked for that? Indigenous peoples' rights is recognized under international human rights law, including the UN Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and two ILO conventions, uh, 107 and 169, and one of them, 107, was ratified during the time of Bonga Bandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, our founding leader. So the indigenous identity tells you that these are the people who were excluded from modern state formation and the development process. So a democratic state has to include them in a substantive manner and that they should be part of decision making. There is a very distinct sense of the Bengali settler community taking over not only land but also business, markets, cities, urban areas and if you look at the leadership of the local branches of the army league, the BNP, the Jamaat Islami and all the major political parties of Bangladesh, you will find that it tends to be by and large Bengali settlers who are in those positions, not the hill peoples. There is no doubt that parties which are campaigning for power they look at their grassroots support base and the grassroots support base, even in the hill tracts, is dominated by the Bengalis rather than the indigenous peoples. And therefore, it is the interests of the Bengali settlers, the merchants, the plantation owners, and of course, the civil and military officials. That is what gets prominence in the actual decision making by the government as distinct from the rhetoric of what it claims it will do. And so in that sense, what is what has actually happened is quite consistent with the power structure. It is totally inconsistent with the treaty and the rhetoric of the government, but it is perfectly consistent with the situation on the ground. Uh, Tai 
ওই রামাতের তো ফাস্তে হাজার আছে দিচ্ছেন যে নিজেই সত্যি ভাই এক সাই বেশি তো কেউ ছিল না আহি ও তো আহি ফ্রন্ড বাজা হই বুঝি শান্তি না দেখা যাত্রা যে শান্তি আর নেই জকাম মানা মানি হে হন রকম দিন হাদা না হইয়া দেয় মনত ধরা না গেত নিত নিত বন হাকা ইয়ান হাকা ধর নিত মনত দুর্বলতা হাই 